I never clown on you midges. Fuck that, homie. I ain't quitting till I'm finished. I'm a menace. Gotta get it. I'm a killer till the world is a witness. Say something wrong. Flint niggas will go when a nigga mouth like a dentist. Young down by this business. Making a mark while I'm saving the art. You trying to keep it together, but I take them apart. Go plan the dark. South by Southwest was crazy, man. You know, that was my first time. Um, That was my first time um, in Texas as an adult. Last time, last time I was in Texas, I was like little, so I couldn't even remember. But, um... Going down there for one, Texas is a beautiful state. Um, just the whole festival was crazy. Like that's if a, if you an artist and you've never been to South by Southwest before, you cheating yourself. Like that's um, an artist's dream, man. Like to just be around so many positive people and to just be around music, music, music. Like everywhere you turn is just music. Like I was just so happy to to go and just had that experience, man. Like it was crazy, and you know we went. <laughs> I seen the blogs talking about how deep we was, you know. Big shout out to all the blogs too, man, for for shouting us out. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, giving us them looks on the blogs um, on our on our trip to South by Southwest. But like, yeah, we went down there, you know, to prove a point. You know, we went down there to send a message. We went down there to um. We went down there like to, to have a voice because like at South by Southwest you got all of the top acts and you know not just rappers, just musicians, period, all around the world. You know what I'm saying? They down there in Texas, you know, to, to be seen and to be heard and to, and to get that attention put on them, right? So it's like we come from Flint. We not used to nothing like that. We don't get events like South by Southwest to come here. We don't get to 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 rhyme in front of um all of the all of the blogs and magazines and stuff that was down at South by Southwest. We don't get that. So for us, it was like I say. We don't know how to go no other type of way. We wanted to make sure people remembered us. We wanted to make sure we spread our energy and we spread it just that love and just we show people, you know, we from Flint. We came down here because yo, we y'all see as we ride by. Yo, we this is our environment. This is where schools is boarded up, houses, every other house. Like, look at that. Like when I be rapping about it, like I want people to know it's real. Like when salvation come out, I say I was raised where every other fucking house is boarded up. Like it's not schools is boarded up. Like whole school, this Civic Park school. Like look at this. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this is my neighborhood. It's not a game. So when you looking at stuff like this, and you got an event like South by Southwest, it's like we gotta go hard. Because nobody want to come back and have this be their reality, you know? Like, that's why we went as hard as we did. We went down there with the whole All Varsity music, Entourage, everybody was grinding. And, you know what I'm saying, we left a positive influence on the people in Austin. We left a positive influence on the, on the people at the festival just because... Like I said, we don't know. We don't know no other way to go besides hard. So we went down there. We went hard. And anybody that was in Austin, when I say Blue City Club, they already know to say you know. And it is what it is. Like we just we we grinding. You know what I'm saying? We feel like you know we feel like we trying to get to the NBA Finals, man. We going for the championship. We want to leave. We want to leave an a, a impression on everybody that this that struggle music. You know what I'm saying? This is stack grind, man, and, and that we coming. You know what I'm saying? We coming. That our music come from our music come from the soul. It come from the heart. It come from being around stuff like this. this. Passion put to a tempo. You ain't get the memo to be the best is what I'm here for. Goddamn, feeling like my flows is sinful. Forgive me, I'm never gassed up. My tank on empty. Niggas is full of it, and I'ma show y'all the difference between being the shit and being full of shit. Rewind. But um, next we got. What we listening to right now? Um, me and my man Reef, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, Reef, crazy, stupid on the beats. Um, me and my man Reef, we got this joint, um, Salvation. It started off, Salvation was just supposed to be an EP, but then I got in the lab, Reef kept sending beats, I kept writing rhymes, so it was like, you know, let's go ahead and make an album out of it so y'all gonna be able to get it on iTunes, Salvation. 
So make sure y'all get that John Connor and Reese Salvation. And then after that, the sequel of all sequels, John Connor as Vinny Chase 2. And like I said, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna take y'all to a place. Like when we make music, we just wanna take y'all to a place. We wanna, we make that goosebump music. We make passionate music. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we do. So. Salvation, the joint with me and Reef coming next. That's coming at the end of April. And then um, John Connor as Vinny Chase. That's a all varsity music production. And on there, you're going to have guest appearances from uh, Cash Swift, Brandon Bars, Liam Mack, Link. You know what I'm saying? When you put the four of us together, uh, John Connor, Link, Brandon Bars, Cash Swift, that's Blue City Club, the group. And, um, you know, we also going to have. Um, GLC on there, big shots to my man, Shy Town. GLC, real nigga. And um, you know, there's gonna be a couple more games appearances. We got some surprises. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have some co stars on uh, Vinny Chase season two, man. So that's gonna be crazy. And then the Nas joint, man. Big shout out to Nas, Legend. You know what I'm saying? The big homie. You know, that was that was a crazy situation. You know, cause I, I'm a um. We all fans of hip hop. We all fan. Before you got in the game, you was a fan first. I don't care who you are, you know. So that's the cat that I studied and grew up listening to, and um, just always admired what he did to the game and his lyricism and all of that. So you know, for me, when me and him sat down in Chicago and he gave me just a talk about having the gift and. When you have the gift, it, it, it's like uh, it's like Uncle Ben told Peter Parker, "With great power comes great responsibility," and that was pretty much what um what Nas said to me, is that you know you got a gift, so just make sure you use it for good. Make sure you positively influence the world with the gift, and, and make sure you contribute positivity to the culture. You know, and, and, and coming from him, there's no words really to that's top five you know greatest of all time and so for him to say that it was it was like pressure but it was good kind of pressure because now it's like well Nas co-signed you and it's like I like having to live up to that you know what I'm saying I like having to live up to that because I I know I can and I will you know what I mean and you know it was crazy man it was crazy salute super salute to Nas because Dude is, dude is untouchable with what he's put down in the game and what he's done. So, you know what I'm saying? That was just a crazy day. That that was, man, that was just as, that was just as good as winning a, a, a Grammy or a VMA or something like that. Just on the to-do list, the bucket list of your life. You know what I'm saying? For Nas to be like, you nice, then I really can't nobody else really tell me, like, far as haters went like uh, anybody that said i ah, kind of ain't this and kind of ain't that once nas tell you you nice after that really no no a hater opinion really don't matter it didn't matter to begin with but after that it really wasn't shit a hater could say oh uh, yeah and uh you know without a doubt just want to say to the people you know what I'm saying? Thank everybody who supports John Connor, All Varsity Music, and just positive energy because that's what we're trying to bring to the game. I just want to thank everybody from the blogs. I want to thank all of the people that's been getting behind and supporting because y'all are making my dream come true. And it can't happen without y'all. That's why I call myself the People's Rapper because honestly, I stand for if I could do it, you could do it. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. Keep going hard for your dream and you're going to do it because I represent the people. I represent just everybody who ever dreamed of doing something, you know what I'm saying, bigger than they self, you know what I'm saying, who stood for a cause that was bigger than their own existence. You know what I'm saying, like I was born and raised in Flint, Michigan. By statistics and all of that, there is no way in hell I should be doing this interview. There is no way in hell I should be, you know what I'm saying, kicking in with Busta and Nas and all of that being from Flint, Michigan. Give them what they want, Kyle. Give them what they want, Kyle. Give them what they want, Kyle. Put them out, put them out, put them out. Yeah. I got the soul of a veteran Anti-medicine, the flow is sicker than it's ever been It's evident, I kill shit, nigga, hear the evidence Better tell them this, that shit that make them question Niggas relevance, the doc smacked me on my ass Had a chip on my shoulder ever since I make hits, niggas flinch, you a move if you had better sense Ill since birth and ain't got better sense I'm a real nigga, so this probably I should element You the realest when you telling it I can't buy the